Hello, hello, Gordon here. Hope Paul is well with you. In this Facebook Live I've called, We Don't Stop Playing Because We Grow Old. And I'm looking at a quote image of mine that I've shared on the page. Uh, quote image, I took the photo back to, on this day, the 4th of March, back in 2016. Mucking about on a swing in the woods. And I put the quote over the top from George Bernard Shaw. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. A great quote, isn't it? And I think we could substitute it. We don't stop following our passions because we grow old. We grow old because we stop following our passions and our dreams. That could all be thrown into the playing that George Bernard Shaw is talking about. And it's true, isn't it? Because we're young and carefree and kids, we do what we want, we're having a laugh, anything we want to do, we do it. And then life starts happening to us, doesn't it? In all likelihood, we get put through the academic educational system, put through the confinements of consensus, and then we maybe get qualifications, get a job, I don't know, start a relationship, get a house, start a career that we might do for 30, 40 years. And then we retire with a pension and we live as old age pensioners and then we die. And particularly I was brought up that way. I was brought up with the mindset of school, university, job, career, pension, retire. And there's nothing wrong with that per se. But what it does mean is that it squeezes the playing out of us. It squeezes the passion out of us. And we don't do it enough, do we? We don't play, we don't follow our passions. And when we're in that groove as adults should we say with a job and a rent and a mortgage and maybe a relationship maybe kids all the outgoings we find that not only are we restricted then in time when it comes to following our passions we're restricted in finances because we're caught in that loop i haven't got the time to follow my passion because i'm i've got the job but it's the job that brings in the money. So to free up the time to follow my passion, I'd have to give up the job and then I wouldn't have the money to fund the house and the family and the lifestyle. So how's it gonna work? I've got to, take a leap, I've got to take a leap of faith is probably the only way that people think. Give up the job and risk all that financial risk in the hope that following your passion might bring in some money. Or maybe you're brought up another way that it's OK to follow your passions. That If you're a, a performer, a singer, an actor, a dancer, an artist, whatever that passion may be, and you have been following it. But you're finding it's not quite making as much money as you thought it might do because of the insecurity of that side of life. Then again, the pull of normal life and a normal job. And the security that that does bring, however mind numbing it may be, the pull of that security will pull you away from your passion. So that all adds up to making us feel and grow a lot older than we are. And it's the playing and the passion that helps keep us young and make us feel young. So why am I talking about that on the online passion profits page well there's a couple of reasons one is the mindset as I've spoken about before the mindset and the passion profits and self-improvement and goal achievement they intertwine you've got to get your mindset right when it comes to turning passions into profits online and in this case it's a case of your why why would you want to turn your online passion into profits? And why would you go on the learning curve and face the, any obstacles that might come your way in that journey? Well, it's because you don't want to grow old because you've stopped playing. 
or you you can feel it happening to you and you want to do something about it and you certainly can turn your passions into profits you don't have to stop your passions so you don't have to grow old and feel old before your time and if we look at the quote image playing on a swing in the woods going for a walk in the woods can you make passion from that uh, sorry can you make profit if that's a passion from you for you hiking oh yes of course you can taking photography can you make profit from that if that's a passion from you oh yes of course you can even making quote images like I've done there if that's a passion for you and putting out a positive message of self-improvement and goal achievement and personal development can you make profit if that's a passion from you yes of course you can whether or you're a creator in the niche of your passion or a consumer in the niche of your passion you can absolutely turn your passion into profit online and I've covered what I call the three two one breakdown of how it works in a 35 minute presentation that I've done and you can watch it for free no email required you can just watch it right on the page and you can see it at onlinepassionprofits.com slash chat and I've done some screen sharing in that video like I've done in this one and I talk about a couple of case studies at the end of it as well and I've given examples of exactly how I've done it and exactly how I'm doing it now as of where are we? spring 2019 I'm recording this so I'll sign off for now let me know what you think I hope you like that message if you do like that message hit the like button I would appreciate it and if you're watching this video somewhere else other than my page why don't you pop over and like the page online passion profits with Gordon Bryan where I'm putting I'm using that page as a hub for my Facebook lives on that subject okay signing off for now hope all is well with you wishing you as ever health and happiness and I will speak to you again soon